afternoon, after school, to see the little ones out in the water, enjoy themselves here in Duncan Park. And I know the Duncan Park neighborhood uh, is so excited about having this uh, lake reactivated. Uh, we are so excited about it. As you can say, when I say we, uh, have most of the council uh, behind us here, uh, Councilwoman Sally and the rest are standing in the middle. Jamie can't take off his jacket, but uh, he probably won't. <laughs> yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm just excited for this opportunity. This is something uh, that has um, been, been on the radar for quite some time, and now it has come to fruition that we can activate Duncan Park Lake. So thank you for the opportunity. Thank you all for coming out and joining us this afternoon. Uh, and I'm going to pass the mic on to uh, Laura Wingo. Good afternoon. My name is Laura Ringo. I'm the executive director of PAL, Play, Advocate, Live Well. 101 years ago, this park was gifted to our city by the heirs of Major David Duncan, who was an attorney and a businessman in the city. And so for more than 100 years, this park has served our community and especially the surrounding neighborhoods. As we enter a new century, this park is taking on a new vibrancy with this dock that can be used by anyone in our community thanks to a gift granted by the Longleaf, um, the Longleaf, found, or the Longleaf Fund at the Foundation for the Carolinas. And thanks to the leadership of PAL and the city of Spartanburg and the Friends of Duncan Park. Um, just a little history to talk about how we got here. Um, as I've already mentioned, this neighborhood and park, um, including the stadium, has such a rich history. Um, and as Pal uh, was collecting trail counts, we have infrared trail counters on all the trails around town, and we were looking at the ones here in Duncan Park, and the numbers were pretty low. Especially when you think about the fact that the Mary Black Foundation Rail Trail is just across Union Street and is getting more than 200,000 uses a year. And so we really started to think about how do we encourage more use down here? Um, and so, and part of our interest is we're building trails, or we've got trails over on that side, we're building trails over along the Fair Forest, and Duncan Park was really a great point of connection between the tr different trail um, segments. So we really started to think about a visioning process. Um, we first started with some cleanup of invasive plants, and then we said, we need to do even more. And so applied to a grant to the National uh, Park Service. There was a gentleman, Bill Lane, who came and worked with us for two years to create a vision. And we put together a steering committee, which has turned into the Friends of Duncan Park. Um, John Ferris, I think I saw you. Where's John? John. John's been an incredible leader of this effort. John, we're so grateful for all that you've done to uh, get us to this point. So thank you for so much work to enjoy, engage folks. I'd also like to ask, if you are on the Friends of Duncan Park or were part of the original steering committee, if you'll raise your hand. Got some folks back there over here. Um, thank you so much for all of your work. We, um, Kim and I did a lot of work to engage the community, to engage the neighborhoods, and so we asked people, what do you want to see to really make Duncan Park thrive? And probably the answers won't surprise you. They wanted to see um, new trails. They wanted to see the trails that were here look a little better. Um, and they wanted to see the lake activated. And so we're excited to be able to be here and respond to the needs of the community. Um, and I'll add that I think this is a learning process. We want this to be a win-win for everybody. And so if there are things that we need to tweak or um, pivots that we need to make, I think we're, um, we're fully prepared to do that. Um, a few more thank yous that I wanna offer. 
One, to the Department of Natural Resources that has helped us evaluate and improve the fish quality. I haven't, don't know much about fish, but I'm learning. Um, Wofford, quality, or Wofford College helped us with um, assessing the water quality. Um, Pal, my colleagues and the board, and certainly the city team. Um, finally, I just want to close by saying a few weeks ago, the Post and Courier ran an article on the opening of the lake for boating and fishing. They said it had over 104,000 views, which was near the top ever for their Spartanburg articles. As I reflect on why that is, I turn to a quote by Laura Isley, who was a natural science reader. If there is magic on this planet, it is contained in the water. And here we are. Now I'm going to turn it over to John Ware with the Friends of Duncan Park. Thank you, Laura. Um, my name is John Ware. I've been a resident here in Duncan Park since 2006. Uh, along with my wife, Lisa, who's somewhere here. Yeah. Um, I want to thank everyone who's been involved in this process. It's been a very deliberate process, as you can tell from what Laura said, and it's also been one that hasn't been rushed, and so I think it's, um, as she noted, it's been very comprehensive. By this point, there are too many to name, and you've gotten a lot of names, but I just want to reiterate some of them. Um, my thanks and uh, significant thanks to Pal and Executive Director Laura Ringo, Spartanburg Parks and Recreation, Director Kim Moultrie, to the City of Spartanburg, Mayor Jerome Rice and the City Council, um, and also to the Friends in Duncan Park, uh, as has been mentioned, that's been directed, led by John Ferris. Um, this consortium, um, Spartanburg Parks and Rec, Pal, uh, the Friends of Duncan Park, saw in Duncan Park um, an opportunity to give residents a variety of ways to enjoy this great and historic location. Um, some of those were already in existence, uh, tennis courts that are now um, mostly, I think, pickleball courts, uh, baseball stadium, historical um, baseball stadium, as well as some mountain bike trails that have been put in, um, and we have some people to thank um, Eric for instrumental in that. Um, but others are more recent and um, significant additions that call for consideration and study. And we're celebrating one of those today, an ADA accessible dock, um, kayaks for rent, life jackets that give people access, and a great new perspective on Duncan Park, one from the water out to the forest. My wife and I have been fortunate enough to live next to parks or park-like spaces for uh, most of our life together. Um, and for us, that kind of space has always been a reason to choose one place rather than another. They are the kinds of places that um, I believe have added value. Um, that is that um, they help you love where you live, or to borrow um, the phrase from Pal, they help you live well. Um, I've always had an easy time enjoying parks, whether that's walking, birding, uh, biking, kayaking, only since it's been legal. Um, and, um, <laughs> but what I really appreciate about what um, people have done here is to make uh, the park, not only the lake, more accessible, more enjoyable um, for residents across Spartanburg and not only those who live in the immediate vicinity or, or neighborhood. As you can see, there are many um, changes still underway. If you walk through the park this way, right, you're moving, it's almost like moving through a construction zone, but they are super exciting. And there, if you look at the plans, which you can access through the Friends of Duncan Park website, there is more to come. Um, but I think it's good for this moment to just kind of pause and recognize this um, significant step that has already been taken applaud the foresight and commitment of the people who have brought it about um, and appreciate the many other people um, who played a role. So I want to thank you all and thanks for coming out. My name is Kim Brown. I'm the Director of Parks, Recreation, and Special Events. Um, thank you all for being here. I think both John and Laura um, put into their own words what I truly believe is that parks make life better. Uh, and, and the Parks and Recreation staff 
Um, we come in every day looking to make sure that we have the opportunity to make life better, uh, not only here, but across the city of Spartanburg. Um, I believe it was Mrs. Uh, Willarita who mentioned uh, in our engagement session that um, Duncan Park should not be a place just to fish and kayak and play, but a place to build community. And from her memories, that's what we're looking to get back to. Um, it's a perfect example of accessible, inclusive play uh, right here, uh, less than a 10 minute walk from so many people. Uh, and that's what we look to do, and that's what we've been charged to do. Um, we are in a pilot program as far as what we're doing here, and we're looking always to intake information from the neighbors, from the community, and as Laura said, we can be able to tweak things as we go along. Um, and in this process, um, we have some of our staff members here. Uh, if you're a city parks and rec staff person or a volunteer, if you would just wave your hands. Um, <laughs> we, we contracted with Winter Water Sports, uh, who provides the kiosks here uh, for rentals, for kayaks, um, but then also people can come out and fish. Uh, and so we'll, we'll be here in the park daily uh, assessing what needs to be done. Uh, I think I'd also like to add, we just hired two parks and trail ambassadors who are in the, um, the hiring process. Uh, so you'll see them out uh, around the park and not only this trail, but other trails helping us to get to that point where we can make sure uh, our park spaces are safe and that we preserve the neighborhoods that surround them. Um, there are two people that were winners of our uh, giveaways for today is Jared Scoggins and uh, Miss Naomi McKissick. Are they here? Hey, Jared. Uh, so our staff, we, we put some things on social media to have people come down and uh, scan the code to be able to win some prizes. So uh, Jarrett has a complete fishing uh, package there and um, Ms. McKissick, uh, she actually won a, a kayak. And I think we'll ask the two of them Council uh, and I think um, John Ferris from the Friends of Duncan Park to come and join us for the ribbon hunt. Come on, 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 come